the spring of 1944, the Kriegsmarine, so the German Navy in Normandy, was led by Admiral Theodor Kranke, commander-in-chief of the West Naval Group, so Marine Gruppe West. The historic storm uh, that had been in full swing in the Channel since the beginning of June 1944 did not allow the Kriegsmarine to patrol on the days preceding the launch of Operation Overlord. When the Allied Armada was heading towards the Normandy coast, the German warships were docked. In the early hours of June 6, 1944, there were numerous reports indicating that the Allied fleet is in motion. Kranke ordered the fleet of the Channel coast to be placed on alert at 3 o'clock in the morning, but at that moment the Allied Armada was already off Normandy, awaiting daybreak to open fire. On the coast, the Kriegsmarine coastal artillerymen spotted dark silhouettes at night from the horizon. The flares fired to request the identification of these ships did not receive any answer. A radar listening station spotted echoes from the open sea, indicating the presence of vessels at anchor. The sixth gunboat fleet was deployed but was silenced by the shots of the Allied warships. Patrols were deployed from Le Havre and Cherbourg, such as the 4th and 5th flotilla of torpedo boats, passing through the smoke curtain set up by the Allied Armada, they discovered the Allied warships and turned back after firing their torpedoes. To the east of the Armada, the Norwegian's destroyer Svenner was sunk by one of the 18 torpedoes shot by three Schnellbootes, so fast boats, of the 5th flotilla of torpedo boats coming from Le Havre. 32 Norwegian and British sailors were killed in the attack. The coastal artillery batteries were under fire from the Allied Armada throughout D-Day. While the batteries in the Continental Peninsula managed to record direct hit on American warships, the others were destroyed by bombings, unable to fire such as the Point de Hook battery, or quickly under Allied control. For the Germans it was necessary to react in order to counter this naval military power. A counteroffensive was set up directly after D-Day. Its warships were Type 36A, which were ordered on 6 of June 1944 to make their way to Brest. This naval raid failed on the 9th of June, even before it could worry the Allies. The latter, enjoying both favorable balance of power and the work of the ultra machine to decode the enemy transmissions, destroyed these German maritime units. The coastal batteries defending Sherbung Maritime Port continued to defend the port area against Allied warships until the end of June 1944, in particular during the afternoon of the 25th of June, during which long duels took place. But these fortresses did not prevent the fall of the city in the hands of the Allies on the 1st of July. Following their failure, Kriegsmanire was planning to take action at night and on an ad hoc basis, but because joint work between the surface units and the air force of the Allied countries prevented any coordinated action by their opponents. During the months of July, some warships attempted unsuccessful offensive apart from the destruction of a few landing crafts of the LST sort. Unable to continue the fight of Normandy coast, the Kriegsmarine was then withdrawn and redeployed in August in the ports of Germany and the Netherlands. The impact of the general action in Normandy against the Allied maritime forces was almost nil. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and support my channel on PayPal. Details in the description box.